How you guys doing? Welcome back to another unboxing video of uh, Bubbles Adventures. Um, today what we have is we have Funky Bop and a OC Celebrity. Uh, let's see, it was the Chucky, it was the Good Boy or Chucky. It was signed by um, Alex Vincent, Andy who played Andy, the little boy in the movie. Um, so it could be one or the other, so let's hope we can get the Chucky one because it uh, had some nice little phrase in there, but we'll see what we got. I don't want to spoil it for you. But anyway, the Funky Bop is, let's see, $75 guaranteed overvalue, or guaranteed value, $75. We didn't pay anything like that. Um, it was on the hunt for, I think it was Ghost, the OG Ghostface, uh, Freddy Krueger, Glow in the Dark, um, a few signatures. I think it was... Um, uh, what's it called? Those two guys there. Cheech and Chong uh, signatures. Chong and uh, Cheech. But anyways, let's just get right into it. Um, what we're going to do first is we are going to open up the OC Celebrity um, Marketing. Hopefully, this is the uh, the Chucky one, not the good boy. The good boy is... Uh, I think he's sitting on the pumpkin. It's, it's two newer Chuckies is what it is. But they had a private signing... Let's see what we got here. Both sides of these. Okay. I'll cut myself. Let's see what we got here. Okay, ready? I don't care if she's got my address. Everybody pretty knows my address anyway. Tight box. I don't want to end that on there. Okay, there we go. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Upside down. Okay, it is the uh, the good boy Chucky. It's uh, Play With This by uh, Alex Vincent, Andy. It is, and these were limited when they did them. I think there are 25 per pop, so there's 50 total. Um, this one is, oh, right there. 23 of 25. The OCC Signature Series Exclusive. And, of course, you got the OCC... Um, sticker on there, but this I like this one. I mean, I'm not too too uh, mad about that. But these are supposed to be black light. So I don't know, is this the black light? Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see it with all the light and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be black light. That's pretty cool. Definitely a keeper. I like this. Play with this. <laughs> um, I think. Um, the other one said the same phrase, but it had the F word at the end. So that was the only difference. Other than it was the Chucky one, not the good good boy Chucky. Actually, but I like this one for Halloween. You know, with the pumpkin on the bottom. This is what it actually looks like. It's getting, they come in the armor, or their soft protectors there. Seven bucks a pop protectors. I actually like this. Okay, so the next one is Funky Bop, like I said, it was, uh, I'm looking for Ghostface for any signature pops. They even had a uh, Captain America, Chris Helmsworth signature. Um, Freddy Krueger would be nice, the uh, OG one, Go in the Dark. I do have Robert Engel, England signature on a pop up there. But the only thing is, um, like I said, they're, they're uh, guaranteed overvalue, but this box is pretty, pretty banged up. So this is not something that is on anything on Funko or uh, Funky Bop. This is all um, the post office. But Funky Bop usually puts them like in wrap and stuff. So hopefully there's no damage. I mean, if I did get the uh, big hit ones, I'm, that's kind of going to be pretty pretty bad if the uh, if they're the ones I got hit so we have supposed to be, it's, it's supposed to be three to four pops so we got one two three oh we do have four pops so I doubt we have one of the big ones but they're all are they all in protectors I think they're they're all in protectors I'm trying to get them without looking at them all right they are upside down 
So I'm trying to do it where the tag or the uh, flop is back there. Okay. So, okay, they do have the sleeves on them. Okay, good. I still don't want to look because I could probably see the sides if I look down, which I don't want to do. So let's just do it like this. One, two, three. Okay, we got the Santa from uh, the Disney uh, Santa Claus movie um, played by um, Tim Allen. This is an older one. This is 2019. So I'm going to tell I'm, I bet you, and this was on the picture too. I mean, it's pretty banged up for for 2019 pop. It's, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, it's got, it's got some love, as they say. But this is a pretty cool pop, especially Christmas coming around the corner. Yeah, it's got some got some damage to it. Um, we're gonna show the value of these at the end, obviously. Of course, you got the Santa. There must have been only two runs of this one because it was the Santa, and then Santa with lights. I don't know. Yeah, this one was actually in the picture, so it was one of the pictured um, pops. So. That's probably our big hit. I'm going to say it's probably our big hit. So, <laughs> we took the big hit first. But it said something on the bottom. It does have a value of $15. So, I mean, it could be all $15 pops. That would be, you know, the money. I want to look at this one. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, looks like the office. Office, uh... I think we, this is the second time we pulled him. I think I have him. Yeah, I already have one of these. But that's okay. I mean, it's, it's Santa theme. Michael Scott as uh, Classy Santa. This is this is definitely uh, a time of the year for getting something like this, other than Halloween. So, I'm not mad about it. Like I said, we're going to show the values at the end. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show you the value. Of, well, yeah, I'll show you the value of the other one. Okay, you got the third one. I'll show you the value of the uh, good boy at the end too. I don't know if there would be a value because that was just a recent, a new signing, so there might not be anything on them for the signature. I know the pop probably goes like 12 anyway. That's for Chucky. Okay, the third one. One, two, three. We got Demon Slayer. Ooh, this is Funky Bops. They did a bloody series. That's actually their signature, the uh, guy who did the, the custom work. Because I have one for um, 11 from uh, Stranger Things. That's, that's cool. I'm not mad at that. Not sure what the value The value would probably be right around what the pop is worth, <clears throat> which is, I don't know, probably about like 15 maybe 20 bucks. Because it has the price tag on that. See, they have it marked for 35 I don't know. I'll have to check on that. I don't even know if there would be anything listed on those for sale. And we got last and final pop, number four, Freddy Krueger, Ghostface. And we have, who that? Larry Bird. Okay, I don't have a Larry Bird. Target Larry Bird, USA. This is 2021. They got it marked at $13. This might go with my uh, Jordan I have. Yep. U.S. Series. This will go with the Jordan I have. This one's a Target, <clears throat> obviously. And then the Michael Jordan I have is a special edition. They're both uh, USA team. So I'm definitely keeping these two. Well, keeping this one, I should say. Yeah, two. I already have Michael Jordan. But um, that's cool. I thought about a Larry Bird too, getting one of him a while ago. I think it was the green jersey. But well, let me check the value. I'll be right back, and uh, we'll let you know where we're at. Sure, sure. Okay, so we're back. Um, we're gonna go right down the line for um, the good guy Chucky, which I'm keeping. I'm not gonna sell this one. I'm just gonna add it to my uh, signature horror collection. Um, he's going for right around um, 100 to 125, more than what I paid. Even covers the shipping and tax and all that stuff. So that's really good. Um, I, I, I'm actually, I actually like this. I didn't think I would like this as much as I would the other one, but I actually like this one. This, this is uh, probably going to be up there in my probably my top 
15 or 20 signatures. Oh, sorry, Harper. Um, we're going to go right to Larry Bird. Um, Larry Bird, uh, they have a couple versions of these, special edition, then you got the Target um, exclusive. This is coming in at $14, so the value went up a dollar more than what they uh, have it priced as. The Santa. Now, the Santa's coming in at $15. Um, they have it marked at $15. But because of the, the damage, and like I said, I don't know if it was like that, but it is old. Even if it even if the didn't come in because of shipping like that, that's expected in some of these older pops. It does happen. This could have been maybe an out-of-box pop at one time. It, it didn't really hold a lot of value even back then. But I actually like this. I'm probably going to give this to my wife if she wants it. She'll add it to her uh, her Disney collection. I mean, it does like I said, it does have some love on it. That's okay, but it's okay because I'm I'm not gonna you know try to resell this or anything. So this is gonna go right into her collection. Okay, we might be coming on along one that has better condition. But anyways, he fifteen dollars value that held right there, except for because it is damaged. So I'm gonna drop that down right to twelve bucks because of the damage on it. And uh, we have. Michael Scott. Michael Scott, um, the classy Santa. Um, this one stays consistent because I remember the last, the, and I still do have it. I went and looked for it. I still have it, but this is staying at $20. It was been at $20 for a while. It stayed right there. Still a lot of sales on it. They had it marked for $18. So they undervalued it, but that's still good. Now, the Demon Slayer. The Demon Slayer uh, Yabaha? Yabaha? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the um, I've seen other ones from Funky Bop. It took me a while to try to find ones that are actually sold, not listing because listing everybody's asking for a hundred bucks because the signatures. But in the community of you know collecting, everybody knows pretty much who these people are who do this stuff. Um, I'm gonna estimate this right around forty dollars because that's where it's consistently selling for for their um, art for their uh, custom job with the splat with the blood on the. On the face, it is on the Funko Pop it's, it, and the window. So, and this is common what they do. Then they they sign it here. But that is a forty dollar value. I'm gonna put a price tag on that. There are some out there that sold a little bit more, but they weren't this exact one. The one that were like this were anywhere from forty eight to forty. So I'm gonna go on the lower end and just mark this for forty bucks. So we ha uh, what we paid for the box eighty one dollars. In profit, if I end up selling, well, eighty-one dollars, not profit, but eighty-one dollars, if I sold everything, so it'll be more than what we uh, paid for it. But keeping, so I'm, I'm keeping Larry Bird. Going to see if the wife wants this one. I'm possibly going to be selling this. I'm not much into Demon Slayer, but I might keep it just because it's like a signature, signature series. But uh, okay, I'll show you the other one. I think you, if you guys, you guys might not remember the other one. That And is this one. This came in one of their horror lines that they did before. Someone actually offered me $50 for this one. Um, and I said no. I actually like this one, so I'm keeping it. I might keep this one too, so we'll have two of them. But that's it for today. Also, I didn't notice that. This one for 11 they put a heart on it. They didn't put a heart on this one. But um, that's it for today. Um, I don't, just give you people a little bit heads up real fast. Um, I do have Ralphie's Funhouse coming. We had got misplaced in the mail, so it took a while to come. So those will be here soon. So we'll have a couple of unboxing videos for them. And I am getting back into going stuff on Whatnot because it's the time of year where everything else I do is slowed down. So I'm going to be going on Whatnot, selling Bubbles Inc. If you guys are ever on Whatnot, look me up. I'm going to have a show this Sunday with all the product that I have coming in. Um, and I might do case breaks. So... Anybody who's looking for merchandise to sell or just a collector, you can't find it anywhere else because a lot of these pieces are already sold out. I was lucky enough to get a few cases of each, um, one that I'm looking for, so those are going to be on there for sale. So I'll just let you know. And uh, catch y'all later. Thanks for joining, and uh, enjoy your day.